This is a quick review of the Evolution Power Tools Dry Cut Metal Chop Saw. They sent me this saw for free, but uh, beyond that, I didn't get paid to make this review. So far, I've used this saw to make all the cuts for this lawn tractor trailer. So here's my opinion on this saw. Overall, the saw, I think, works about as good as you would expect a saw like this to work. Here's a few things that I found interesting. Uh, this thing here is kind of a quick release for the screw here. Very handy, but super loose here. And this knob here for locking up and down also lost the tolerance. Uh, neither of these actually matter very much, but uh, I guess where it doesn't really matter, they didn't put that much attention to detail. I'm also noticing the grease on here is starting to seep out. It was in this shop over the summer, so it was exposed to a fair bit of warm weather. So somehow some of it seeped out a bit, so there probably isn't any seal in there. I found the placement of this button a little bit odd. This button needs to be pushed so that the main trigger for the saw can be pushed, which is perfectly in the right place for using it with the right hand, except normally I would actually want to see what I'm doing and use my left hand on here. Maybe this is a suggestion that I should stand well out of the way and not look at what I'm cutting, but uh, I find it awkward. I always end up kind of hitting it like this with my hand. A cool thing about a dry cut saw like this is it uses a carbide tip blade to cut metal and that cuts a lot cleaner, a lot cooler and a lot faster than an abrasive disc and the blades last a lot longer or at least they're supposed to. But looking at this blade uh, you can see these teeth are good, 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 chipped, chipped, missing, chipped, good, good, missing, good, chipped, 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 missing. With one small project, I would say this blade is at least half used up because of all the missing teeth. Now, the fact that this blade is so messed up already is entirely my fault, but it also kind of shows you that a blade like that is pretty easy to mess up. The problem is some of the stuff I was cutting on here was rather long and unsupported on the other end, and it slipped loose on me and slipped in the blade and that caused it to bind, and I actually thought I had broken the saw, uh, but it still works, so I guess it's robust enough, but uh, these blades are not meant to be used like that at all. They're really ideal if you're cutting a lot of new stock and it's well supported, so if it's a, a long workpiece, you have a support on either end, um, but if you're cutting up old crap like I am, and you don't have good work support, an abrasive saw would probably be better. So they say that uh, one blade will last as long as 20 abrasive discs, but if this was an abrasive saw, I don't think I would have used up my first disc so far. So I'm not sure if a carbide tip blade is a good idea for an amateur like me to be cutting metal with, because they're just so sensitive. If you cut into a weld or you cut into something that's plasma cut, that will also screw up the blade. Plus, if your stock is not sufficiently secured, it's also a problem. But if you are cutting through a lot of very consistent new material, a saw like this is definitely the way to go. And that brings me back to this saw, which is also a carbide tipped metal cutting saw. It's a dual saw with counter rotating carbide tipped blades, and it'll cut just about anything, and I was using it to cut some stainless steel rod like this, which worked fine until I was cutting and I had the rod not fully supported and started vibrating against the blade and bouncing against the teeth. And now looking at it closely, a lot of the teeth are just a little bit chipped on the end. It just doesn't cut nearly as well. A new set of blades would cost half as much as I paid for the saw, or about $50. And I just don't see a good enough reason to replace those right now. But since then I've discovered these thin cutoff discs. This is a regular style cutoff disc. This is a thin one. These work really well in an angle grinder. They don't have to remove as much material, so they cut really fast. And that's why I won't be replacing these ones anytime soon. So yeah, carbide tip metal saws, great if you're cutting a lot of new stuff. But if you're cutting just random crap, a thin cutoff disc is the way to go.